Well, thank you to Charles and thank you to everybody here for that, what we'll call a Texas size welcome. And I, I want to uh, say to all of the NRA members with us here today, as governor of this great state, welcome to Texas. Where when it comes to defending our freedoms, it is part of our DNA. Now more than ever, we must fight to protect our Second Amendment rights. And that is exactly what Texas has done. According to the NRA, since I became governor, Texas has passed more significant Second Amendment protections than any other state in the United States of America. That includes campus carry, open carry. And then, two sessions ago, I had a big signing ceremony at the Alamo with leadership members from the NRA where I signed seven Second Amendment protections into law, including constitutional carry in the state of Texas. <laughs> including a law that made Texas a Second Amendment sanctuary state, shielding Texans from an overreaching federal government. and a law protecting gun owners' privacy from the surveillance by financial institutions. And then last year, I signed three more laws protecting Second Amendment rights, one of which prohibits cities and counties from requiring gun owners to buy liability insurance. You should not be forced to pay to exercise your Second Amendment rights. <laughs> Texas is a law and order state. Unlike some of these radical leftist universities like Columbia, UCLA, and far too many others, in Texas, we don't tolerate paid protesters who try to hijack our college campuses. When they tried pulling that stunt in Texas, our Department of Public Safety cleared the area, arrested the protesters, and put them in jail. Another thing that we don't tolerate in Texas, and that is Joe Biden's open border policies. <laughs> Never forget that it was just four years ago we had the most secure border in 45 years, and that is because Donald Trump passed four policies and put them in place. Remaining Mexico, Title 42, in catch release, and build a border wall, the most secure border since last century. <laughs> then Joe Biden took office and he signed so many executive orders, he decimated that secure border. And now we have the highest number of illegal border crossings in the history of the country. In the three and a half years of Joe Biden, there have been more than 10 million illegal immigrants cross our border illegally. For those from Texas, we have more than four Houstons who've crossed the border illegally under Joe Biden, including known terrorists, known murderers, known rapists, people that we are not going to accept in our state. When Biden commanded that the Texas border be open, we responded, Texas will not comply. <laughs> Instead, Texas has done more than any state in the history of America to secure our border. Remember those big orange buoys that we put into the Rio Grande River? 
They were designed by the Border Patrol to deny illegal entry. And wouldn't you know that as soon as we put them in the river, Joe Biden filed a lawsuit to take them out. That case is still, not, still tied up in course today. But I want you to know, as we gather at this NRA convention, those buoys remain in the Rio Grande River. Texas is the only state in the history of America to build our own border wall. We did not reinvent the wheel here. We are building the exact same wall that Donald Trump came up with, which is impenetrable. And we're adding more and more miles every single day. And, and I deployed thousands of Texas National Guard to install razor wire and anti-climb barriers to deny illegal entry into the state of Texas. But we caught Joe Biden using a 50-acre park in Eagle Pass, Texas, which became the epicenter for this crisis. About 5,000 illegal immigrants were crossing Eagle Pass a day. And I ordered the Texas National Guard to wire that park shut. There's no longer thousands of people crossing the border, even hundreds at that point, now on average, there are only two people crossing that border illegally a day, and they are arrested by the Texas Department of Public Safety. Our efforts have been so successful. In the last two years, we've seen illegal immigration increase in New Mexico, Arizona, and California. But in the state of Texas, because of the resistance we've put up, Illegal immigration has gone down 65%. And know this, unless and until Joe Biden does finally begin to enforce the immigration laws, I will continue to bust those migrants to sanctuary cities across the United States of America. Bunch of hypocrites. <laughs> but oh, they're going to New York, trust me. <laughs> Mayor Adams needs something to do. But this crisis is about to come to an end in just six months. <laughs> That's when when Joe Biden will be fired as President of the United States of America. And Donald Trump will once again become President of the greatest country in the history of the world. Let's be clear about this. Joe Biden deserves to be fired. Un uh, under his feckless leadership, we have war in Europe. Israel is under attack. China is emboldened. And inflation is destroying the middle class in the United States of America. And Biden's alliance with extremists have led to open borders, gun control, riots on our college campuses, and the gutting of our constitutional rights. Donald Trump is the antidote to Joe Biden. In the history of America, no president has done more to secure our border. No president has fought harder to protect your Second Amendment rights. Under Donald Trump, our world was safer. We had the most secure border in decades. Russia and China were in check, and the United States economy was booming with inflation under control. But, and I could not be more serious about what I'm about to say, Trump's election depends on the extraordinary effort 
by the NRA. When you are organizing turnout, no organization in America can champion it over you. With your help, we will elect Donald Trump president once again, a freedom fire fighter who puts America first. He will lock down the border, control the chaos that grips the globe, and most importantly, protect your God-given Second Amendment rights. Here in Texas, we have a saying for Joe Biden and his leftist allies, and that is, come and take it. And with your help, that's exactly what we are going to do to Joe Biden in November. Thank you all. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America.